Hey, what is up YouTube? Lando Tech here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to block ads on your Google TV. If you're tired of your home screen being cluttered with ads and sponsored content from third-party apps, then watch this video all the way through and I'll show you exactly what to do to get rid of them. And all I ask in return is for you to like this video and subscribe to see more content like this. Most people incorrectly assume that by going into settings, privacy, ads, and deleting or resetting your advertising ID, that this will stop ads. Unfortunately, all it does is stop personalized ads. So apps will still advertise to you, they'll just no longer base it off of your viewing habits. Instead, the best way to really stop ads is to install the Projectivity Launcher. To do that, go to the Apps tab. Search for Projectivity Launcher. Click it and click Install. Once the installation is complete, open it. At the welcome screen, keep clicking next until you're asked to give Projectivity Launcher read access. Click allow. Click no. Click no again. Then click get started. You'll notice a pop-up at the bottom asking you to enable accessibility services. If this isn't enabled, then when you press the home button on your remote, it'll go back to the standard Google TV launcher. But when Projectivity is enabled in the accessibility settings, it'll give you the option to make Projectivity Launcher your default launcher. To do that, scroll down and click Accessibility Services. Click Show Accessibility Settings. Click Yes. Scroll down. Click Projectivity Launcher. Click Enable. Then, go back to Projectivity Launcher. Now, scroll up, then over to Projectivity Launcher Settings. Click on General. Go down and click Override Current Launcher. From here, you can click the Home button, and you'll notice it goes to the home screen of the Projectivity Launcher and not the Google TV's home screen. The great thing about this launcher is it's clean and doesn't bombard you with a bunch of ads and recommendations. However, if you still do like the odd recommendation now and then, simply scroll down and you have an entire section dedicated to recommendations. Now, if we scroll back up, one thing you'll probably notice is I have Google Chrome installed. If you want to learn how to install it, click this video right here and I'll show you how.